Alright, I'm just gonna quit this video here so I can show my latest uh, stuff. Let's do uh, locate structure in ancient city. Alright, I already did that. Um, so, let's go all the way down. I did a few additions to, uh, like, some of these up. So let's give ourselves nitrogen, so I should try to continue. Uh, so let's say you're walking around in the dark. So you just have to be aware of the right here already. Uh, oh, he's in the rest of the room, okay. This is a bad place. Uh, let me just... Uh, you can see the thing that has a Uh, you can see, uh, he's like some of these things occasionally for a couple of times. So, let's say if I were to just like walk away. Uh, I, I hit it once more, it does more damage, as you can see, if I hit it another time, it does a lot more damage, and then I need to kill it, it has 3 health. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, I'm gonna look for the new mobile I did. Ah, uh, here it is. You might not even see it. I'm trying to walk around here. Oh, you see it? I can actually see. Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, where did this thing go? Oh, it's right there. So you can, as you can see, it's my version. That right there. I uh, don't mind the awful texturing. Uh, I did it. It disappears when you get closer until it just is completely gone. And is the thing giving me nausea or like giving weakness, mind fatigue? He's also playing a bunch of eerie noises like cave zones. Uh, it's just, it's a paired with the warden. Uh, and just like the warden has spawns extra, if you like try to shoot it, uh, it'll take damage and then, uh, where is it? It's hard to see. Right there. Uh, here's another echo trap. here uh so you might be wondering like how can i get like some of those myself you know uh yeah no problem so you just take oh i need to get some you need to get a skull catalyst for this yeah so you gotta take like some of these I right. i'm just putting in two because i want two of them uh and then you just craft it out right here echo trap so you can place it anywhere you know it doesn't matter and then, uh, sorry, oh, let me go here. So you can see how I might be able to get myself saturation. Uh, into okay. Uh, let me just teleport out. Okay, this is another item in the data pack. Don't mind it. If you've seen another one of my videos, you might have seen it. So yeah, this thing does like no damage if you're like doing saturation. But if you don't, then you know. But then once you hit it one. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage. Okay. So, you know, and then you just gotta do it again. And it's doing a lot, a lot of damage. Oh, right. Where'd I go? So, yeah, just hit it one more time. And then we did it. 
it's dead. It works best with smoke because you can know, you know, you can barely see, especially at night. And uh, yeah, if you have extra shards, a skull catalyst, uh, you just get that. That's part of the newest features. Uh, I could show you all the bosses. That was. Like the oh yeah, uh, if the warden or the the uh, it's like originally called the shade in my day pack, it's called the scare because I forgot his name and I'm too lazy to change it. Uh, if those die after they like summon one of these things, then it'll, they'll disappear after they die, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you craft them yourself, they don't. It doesn't really matter if there's a warden, like you know. So let's see. Uh, I can show you my other uh, parts of the day pack. Let's go. Uh, function. Uh, this is the beginning boss. Uh, here it is. Yeah, just a beginner boss, you know. Uh, just jumps. If it lands on you, you take damage. Oh, or it does that. If you get hit, you take damage. You can probably do this with, like, you know, just like no, like, armor. Unless you get hit, maybe. God. It does, like, 100 hit points. There we go. And then you get a frog leg. Uh, I believe. Uh, let me. I, uh. I forgot what this does exactly, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'll, I'll put it later. I just completely forgot what it does. Uh, cause I haven't used this pack in like, a year. Uh, here's, uh, here's one of the more, like, the more endgame bosses. If, I think you've seen the other video, it's the same deal. I did change the damage though, because there's a new slash damage command. Uh, so, I didn't add this boss fully yet, then we have the skull boss, another tough one, but, you know, manageable, uh, here it is, no, uh, it occasionally shoots fireballs, uh, it's like a, it's usually a second piece of this, so, uh, Here's the second phase, it just constantly keeps getting, uh, oh shoot. Okay. You go too far, so you're shooting, and now it's shooting, okay. It is weak. Oh, it's right here. Come on. Okay. dead and now you take this oh I'm already wearing it but like uh, it's a skull trophy and then you just like have this uh, I believe oh yeah so when it's like dark uh, let me just go here uh, you become invisible but like you saw the but, like if you have a creeper right here slash some creeper da, da, da. you have a creeper it just doesn't know you're here. Unless you get real close to it. Like if I get real close. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's that's one of the things. Uh, these can all be turned into ability capsules. Uh, just, uh, I'll have that maybe at another video. Or like, slash function, uh, crafting, yeah, like all this stuff. Uh, let me see, can I ever get? Get capsule. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not even. Okay. Yeah. And then you get a miner's capsule. Uh, like you know, let me get hungry slash. Oh yeah. Uh, slash for clear. Uh, creation spectator. I'm just gonna get hungry real quick. Do I still have saturation? No. There we go. So now I have. Okay, so now, like if I'm in daylight, I have mining fatigue. But if I'm in the caves, uh, I have. Well, let me take this off. I have night vision and I have haste. So if I get like a pickaxe. 
the nice time running real fast. I know, I, I believe it works the same at night. Slash time said night. And where is it? Oh, that is not a good midnight. There we go. So, yeah, just like when it's dark. I might have to. It's like flashing though. I might have to turn this up later. Uh, so, let me just. Uh, remove that ability right now. There's an there's a easier way to do it. There's a way to do it in the in the data pack, but I'm just too lazy right now. Uh, I'm also just like too lazy to do with the other ones too. So I'll just like eat the other ones. So I'll just show the other ones. Uh, ability Ender. So I have this new ability Ender. Like if I were to summon. I'll go, sure, I'll oh, shoot. Never mind. So if I were to get hit, you know, that. And if I were to, like, try to escape into the water. Nope. I just get back put on land. So, yeah, that's that. Slash. Okay. So, let me just remove this guy. And now... Uh, let's see, ostrich, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, you just turn invis when you look down. Like going straight, shifting straight, shifting down, you're invis. That's basically what it is, you know. Just well, I'm invis now. No one can see me. Uh, skull, like you know, the skull thing can do it too, but like you know. Then there's shuffler, which is. A variant of the shift, like with the ender, which is like right here actually. It's basically this as uh, as an ability. Like let's see, summon. I wasn't going for hoggle and solo to uh, pass. Oh, I just realized I don't have any health. Okay. Flash effect, saturation, infinite. Okay. So let's say I have shuffle right now. So if I just what was it shift? Yeah, shift and shift and look down. You teleport uh, everyone around you. Shift and look down. Oh wait, I have both. Abilities. That's an issue. I have both abilities on. Let me just remove this one. Uh, so they're all lagging me. Oh no! And then move them all around. Oh, the other one's there. So that one's that. Uh, Remove uh, shuffler. Then let me see which other one I have. Uh, uh, is it magic food? Okay. All right. Then there's floats. Oh look, I need a. Uh, okay. Go. Then. Uh. Add ability. Well, this is like from the frog. Uh, it's like a similar ability to the frog. We're like, I have the ability class, so now I don't take any fall damage. Uh, and like, let's see, husk. Yeah, and you take like fire. If you like jump while you're getting hit, you just, uh, just boing. Like, it doesn't happen normally. Like, come up here. Nothing, but hold the spacebar and the fly. So yeah, that's uh if you have like flint and steel, I think. So I should be. Hmm. Where is my flint and steel? Okay, actually, it does it? Oh, I can hear flint. Uh, there we go. So I can just. This one's like a little, like, you know, it's a little unwanted, but if you don't take fall damage, you know. And, like, I'm not about to give the person, like, slow fall. Yeah. So, uh, the item, or, like, I, this item is just like, you've seen me use it in this video, where, like, uh, I could run away by just shifting and then holding it. Or if I right click, now, let me see, let me wait for my cooldown, and now they teleport.
just like shuffler ability. So, yeah, just run away. You could hold it down if you want to keep teleporting. There we go. Uh, it works underground as well. Let's say, uh, let's say you're like in this part of the underground. You want to go to a new part. Boom, teleport, and you're some in another place that's like nearby where you were. Uh, I'll just teleport again, and I'm in the same place but in a different part because it's wide. All right, I think I think that's it for the most part. Uh, Oh wait, actually, t I have an entire other section. Half of my mod is wants. So, uh, let me just... Uh, how do I just... Let me get rid of all of them. I'll have the wands in, like, another video. Slash function, hawk. Uh, magic slash wand. Let me just get all the ones. This is a little easy to so just do every command, but you know. Ah, uh, where is it? Oh yeah. And then the last one. Bro. So here's the ones. So slash summon Hus. Let's just say on freeze guy. Oh it freezes that too, but like you know. And now he's back. Right click. And he throws him. Alright. Let's do another one. Uh, this is the most spammable one too. They all have different cooldowns. I can just spam this one. There we go. This one has the longest cooldown, but is definitely the most uh, deadly. Yeah. If I were to just like summon a ton of these guys, uh, it's taking a while to cool down. I'm clicking right now. There we go. Uh, we have these guys. Oh, that's stuff possibility I do. So, yeah, that's what it does. Like, when they get near me, they just start to blow. Womp. And he's gonna bounce on top of it. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. So here's this guy. I just realized I destroyed everything here. Yeah. Okay, well, you just right click. Do I have anything in warrant? No. Right click. It deals some damage, so you can't really do it. Otherwise, you can take damage out if you do it. But yeah, that's pretty deadly. Uh, it would probably work better if he was a little farther away. That's basically a lot of God going on. I probably missed a couple stuff because this this uh, eight effects pretty big, but uh, that's all I got right now. Oh, there's crowns. Yeah, there's crowns. Uh, let me show up the crowns real quick. Where uh, Piglin Brute. You might have noticed how all of the bosses have crowns on their heads. You actually get them from Piglin Brute. So let me see if I can find one. Oh wait, did I? There we go, to it. They're pretty rare as you can see from all these guys. Just two spawned right here. Uh, so, when they have crowns, you wanna kill them. And, where, where'd he go? And then he drops the crown. And this crown can be merged with like, the, fr uh, with like, the, the types of the thing. And then, boom, summons this bad boy. So, I want to see what does it Oh, he was not affected. Uh, I'll try that again. Oh, he was going to damage it again. How much stuff does this guy have again? Oh, there's 100. Wouldn't 
there's no player they don't have to do so. Yeah, okay. And you can see how the TNT made a lot of damage. So yeah, use that as, use that as your own risk. Uh, the one thing might change, like, I might add mana, XP cost, some, something like that. But, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah.